Rockets are very expensive, but thanks to Elon Musk, they are actually not as expensive as they used to be. You have probably all seen the SpaceX rockets that can land themselves, and that is extremely cool. But that does not mean it is still very cheap. Now, of course, I don't know how expensive it is to get a rocket off of the ground, but I cannot imagine that rocket fuel is all that cheap. So today, I am trying an awesome new rocket launch design. All right, so you guys saw the thumbnail, you saw the title. We are making a completely new rocket launching system. Now, do I think a human would survive this? Absolutely not. But uh, yeah, basically we're gonna be spinning at extremely high rates. And yeah, I don't think uh, real life people can really survive those kind of speeds. So yeah, I'm just gonna continue on with this platform here. Um, of course, we're gonna need a whole bunch of weight on the bottom to keep this thing from tipping over. There we go. All right, now we gotta go down the middle here so that we can actually line everything up and get it centered. Whoops. So let's go ahead and go down here. There we go. Foundation is done. All right, now we gotta build this thing up in the air a little bit. Add some support beams. All right, cool. There we go. Now I just need to add a spinning arm. All right, well, as you guys can see, I am all done here when it comes to the spinning launcher. It is uh, very shaky for some reason, not sure why. All right, well, let's do a little bit of a test here. Let's see if this thing actually works. Uh, launch, all right, um, it, it definitely launches, that's good. Okay, well, now that we know that it actually works on launching us, let's add a rocket on the end of it. All right, so of course, I need to first design a rocket because I'm not gonna build it in this build mode. Whoa, what happened to that arm over there? Anyways, not important. We will come back to that. But you know, I haven't made one spaceship with the new cockpit seat, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay, I have finished up painting this thing, and uh, yeah, this is my spaceship. I think this thing looks uh, extremely interesting, to say the least. Oh my goodness, I totally just destroyed it. Okay, there we go. But yeah, it actually flies a lot better than I thought. Oh, the bottom's a little ugly, but don't mind that. Anyways, yeah, we have a uh, we have a working spaceship here. All right, well, let's go ahead and bring out the launcher. Let's uh, let's delete this seat, and then we will bring out this spaceship and try and connect it the best we can. Uh, keep my blocks. There we go. I actually forgot which way this thing spins, so. We're gonna figure it out. Okay, so let's test what direction that it goes in. Okay, yes, this is the right direction. Okay, let's pitch up. There we go. Oh, look at the quantum rudders. It's making a perfect ring. That's so sick. Oh, whoa. Whoa, it's getting a little weird. Okay, we're gonna release in three, two, one, release. Oh, oh no. Oh, that was not a good launch. That was a horrible launch. Let's have more of a clear lineup here towards that planet over there. And, okay, what, dude, nice and easy, okay, 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 what the heck, dude. You know what, I'm just gonna send it. Turn on the uh, helicopter engine and pitch up, there we go. Oh yeah, that's right, baby, nice and fast, here we go, and release. Okay, we are, uh, we are airborne at least, but you know, that, that wasn't that great of a takeoff there. Technically, it worked. But not to what the, uh, you know, degree that I wanted it to. This angle actually looks right for the trajectory of the planet that we're going for. So, uh, let's build up some speed. Okay, things are getting a little shaky, so I'm just gonna release in three, two, one, and release! There we go, okay, 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 uh, yeah, no, not that cool of a takeoff. Let's try something else. Okay, so I have made, okay, I just lost a lot of pieces there. But as you can see, I have made a uh, swing set type of launcher. And yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that this one's just gonna do a lot better. So, okay, maybe not, May maybe not. I think I'm gonna need to add some anchor pins, something like that, and then one in the back over here. Sure, all right, hopefully nothing breaks, here we go. All right, the entire thing broke. <laughs> okay, I'm here on a flatter spot. Maybe not all that flat, but nothing broke, so that's good. For some reason, it's just not spinning as fast as the last one. Like, not even close. But you know what? We're gonna release, and, uh... 
Yeah, no, that one didn't work either. <laughs> okay, so I've actually made the swing a little bit longer. I'm thinking that that's actually gonna give it more force on the, uh, you know, swinging down half. Yeah, there we go. That's looking a lot better. Okay, I'm, I'm feeling good about this. Uh, okay, we're gonna launch at the peak. So one, two, three, launch. Nice, look at that. We got a bunch of air time there. That was so good. Wow, look at that, dude! That's so good! Entering deep space. So, of course, I'd like to get a lot higher in the air, but when it comes to the strength of these uh, vehicles or launchers or whatever you're making in this game, they are a little bit uh, Lego-like. They just fall apart a lot more than you'd like it, but you know what? That's totally fine. That was a cool little swing set launch, and honestly, this ship is actually really good. I didn't really get to fly it around all that much. I was uh, too busy, you know, exploding and crashing and all that good stuff. Well, after that awesome launch, here we come into, uh, I think this is the Dune Planet. I totally forgot, <laughs> but uh, I think that's what it's called. So here we go. Oh boy. Oh boy. This one has a, has a different gravity. That's for sure. But let's come on down for a landing. Oh boy, I don't have any uh, gyro stabilizers in here. It's just all manual. <laughs> all right, looks like we're gonna slightly crash land. Thankfully, there's this hill here we can slide up on. But there we go. Space Little Corn Dogs Man has made it to a completely different planet with the helps from the awesome swing set launcher. All right, just for fun, uh, let's go ahead and try out the uh, launcher on this planet. All right, here we go. The gravity is a lot different on this planet, so we'll see how this goes, but launch. Oh, that was actually a good launch too. That got us off the ground pretty high there. Whoa, whoa. Okay, we're good, we're good. Well, of course the swing didn't work as hard as I actually wanted it to, but I still think that it was pretty cool to test out different launching methods. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I had a lot of fun making it. And if you guys have any cool ideas like this one, leave a comment down below. As always, my name is Little Corn Dogs, and I will see you guys in the next one.